God is my ultimate authority, and I'm not going to bow the knee to any man, tyrant, doesn't matter. I will stand free, come and take them. That's all. That's the only way you're going to get them. Folks, can you imagine using a global pandemic and a tragic event as a means to further a political agenda, a political agenda without any discourse or debate, something that was ramrodded through via an order in council? Well, that's what the Justin Trudeau Liberals did the other day. They had an order in council banning so many legal firearms, making them illegal at a future date and making legal gun owners criminals at that date unless they turn them in. Well, I was at the uh, protest on Saturday at Queen's Park and I bumped into one gun owner and he was very vocal about this particular injustice. Hi, sir. How Hello. you doing? I couldn't help but notice your sign. Come and take it. And there's yes. a couple of uh, rifles there. Uh, what I, I guess this is in reference, I would imagine, to what just happened uh, the last several days in uh, Parliament with these new gun uh, restrictions. Yeah, that's absolutely true. If Trudeau thinks he can just uh, change the laws on us with no vote or anything, no stats to back the, uh, the bans. You know, the recent Nova Scotia shooter, he was already banned from owning weapons. He had a record. I am a legal gun owner. I went through the licensing process. My background gets checked every day. And these are actually two of my own personal guns that I traced out. And that one is actually now considered illegal. What, what models are these two guns, sir? <laughs> so this is the McAfee Defense SLR. Okay. And this is the Stag 10. So that's a 308 rifle. That's a 5.56. And uh, they're both non-restricted. So I can take them hunting. I can take them shooting on private land. Um, but as of yesterday, now that one, I could face, you know, prison time for doing that. So, And, and sir, do you think that the uh, Trudeau Liberals are using the Wuhan virus and perhaps even the tragedy that happened in Nova Scotia, uh, the mass shooting, as an excuse to do a basically an undemocratic gun grab? Absolutely. He's using all of that combined as a distraction, you know. People are scared to come out. It's nice because there's, you know, there's not a lot of liberals out here because they're all scared to come out. But um, it's all a distraction, right? So he uses the media, mainstream media, pushes false narratives. Um, we have doctors who somehow think they know about guns, and they're not even licensed, I would bet. Uh, they tried to ban handguns. That didn't go through, but I wouldn't be surprised if they tried for that. So I'm going to take a firm stance, and I'm not going to give up any of my guns. You know, There's a amnesty until 2022, April 30th. And then you have until that day to turn your weapons in if they're now illegal. Um, and so my question is what happens at that date uh, if, if it doesn't get reversed, if the Liberals are still in power. Um, but yeah, the guns, they're not going anywhere. Um, I speak for, not directly obviously, but I know a lot of guys who feel the same way. So if you want to maintain peace, a peaceful country, don't try to come and take people's guns. We've seen it happen. And, and you have to wonder, sir, even if you supported um, gun restrictions such as uh, as we've seen this week at the end of the day do you think restricting these guns going after legal law-abiding gun owners like you is this going to stop one criminal from getting an illegal gun and killing anyone in the years to come absolutely not it's ridiculous changing the restrictions on these is not going to change crime at all criminals most still use handguns anyway which are purchased illegally either straw purchasing or through the states getting smuggled in so why doesn't he crank down on border security instead of coming after legal gun owners like me and millions of other canadians or do you think in this day and age being pro-gun is um, a third rail politically to step on it seems like it's a third rail only because based on Shear's platform from this last election. Obviously, he went around to the CCFR and did interviews with them and said, oh, yeah, I'm pro-gun. But, you know, being pro-gun means owning guns, being not willing to give them up no matter who says it, and, you know, live free or die. And so that's what I plan on doing. I'm not going to bow the knee to any man. I serve Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. And so our Constitution or Charter of Rights is actually says right at the beginning, this is a, a country founded upon the recognition of the supremacy of God and the rule of law. So God is my ultimate authority, and I'm not going to bow the knee to any man, tyrant, doesn't matter. I will stand free, come and take them. That's, all, that's the only way you're going to get them. Well, he was certainly very passionate about the gun ban, wasn't he, folks? And you know what? We share his passion. We are not going to allow Justin Trudeau to exploit the Wuhan virus pandemic and the Nova Scotia massacre 
as a means for him to ramrod through legislation making legal gun owners illegal gun owners, making legal guns illegal guns. It's just not right. It's just not democratic. So please visit our newest website, handsoffourguns.ca. That's handsoffourguns.ca. Put your name there, and when we amass enough signatures, we will deliver this petition to Justin Trudeau to tell him what you are doing. It's not right, it's not democratic, and it's unfair. Folks, are you tired of uh, Justin Trudeau's virtue signaling when it comes to guns? Then put your name on our petition. Go to handsoffourguns.ca, that's handsoffourguns.ca, and let your voice be heard.